Channel. Just excuse Arlo sprawled out on the bed here. He for some reason hasn't left my side all morning. So that's been weird. Welcome back. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Michelle. I am currently 32 weeks pregnant. First mommy to be and I've just been doing some weekly updates on my pregnancy and this week I'm going to be doing my 31 week pregnancy update and seeing as I'm in my 32 weeks I might as well touch base with some of the symptoms that I've been feeling so the last time we chatted I was in my 31 weeks and I said everything was going great and it was up until the Friday I woke up and I was experiencing really bad pain in my lower abdomen it felt like really bad so it felt like really bad period cramps and I wasn't thinking anything of it I didn't think it was too serious I just thought it's probably just a day thing and I was getting um, like contractions or at least that's what they felt like and I just assumed that they were some Braxton Hicks and I was fine I was at my table most of the day so at my desk busy with an assessment so I didn't feel it too severely I mean it was sore but it was definitely bearable so the next day we decided we were gonna go to the shops early in the morning and wow it was so sore I hadn't been in that much pain in such a long time I would walk for maybe 10 20 steps and I'd have to stop and just kind of take a breather and it, it was that contracting and that really really bad period pain and it was so hard to walk and yeah it just was awful we went to lunch and it still was pretty severe all I wanted to do was be on my hands and knees and kind of just rocking the pain away so when we got home I was beginning to feel a little bit worried and a little bit stressed my husband kept telling me to phone my midwife and I kept putting it off I didn't want to be that girl that said, oh, I've got this ache, phone the midwife. I just wanted to see if I could get through the pain. I mean, you obviously can't take pain tablets, so I was kind of just breathing through it, but I was contracting pretty consistently and regularly. So I said, okay, I have to phone her. I was quite emotional and I said, look, I don't know what's going on. I'm very worried. I really hope I'm not in preterm labor and she was amazing she lives just up the road from us so instead of just going to the hospital she came to the house and she checked up on baby and she checked up on me and everything was fine baby was still moving throughout the whole thing I was just in so much pain I really was struggling to walk I just was feeling so sick so she did measurements she did blood pressure and then i did a urine test and the leukocytes were highlighted in that urine analysis which probably signified that i had some type of infection the blood cells the white blood cells were fighting something off and obviously being excreted now in my urine so my midwife informed me that it was most likely an, effect, an infection some bladder infection of some sort and because everything is so different down there now or inside everything's moved the bladder infection was causing these really bad Braxton Hicks and it made me actually quite scared because I did some research and it turns out that a blood infection that goes untreated can actually cause preterm labor 
which is very scary don't want that to happen so we rushed off to the doctor that Friday uh, that Saturday afternoon and got a doctor's appointment and he gave me some antibiotics and yeah I still was really sore for a couple of days I didn't do anything on Sunday I basically laid in bed all day I was still struggling to walk I was still contracting it was just awful and my well, the doctor advised that if anything hadn't improved by the Monday I must definitely go to my usual doctor so I did and I explained to her what had been happening and I basically told her that the reason why I think it might have occurred was the Tuesday when I had my shift at Levisa. It was a six hour shift. I was in the store by myself for three hours, which meant that for three hours I couldn't go to the toilet and I think holding it in for so long just triggered everything. And my, my doctor was very angry with me. She definitely told me off and said, why am I even working? Why am I putting myself through that because now is such a crucial time so she kindly booked me off work so I'm not working at La Vista basically gone on early maternity leave and I've just been taking it easy I'm a little bit sad because it was nice to get out a bit but I think it's just so important that I put myself and baby first so my doctor has told me that she had delivered quite a few stillborns and she does not want that for me so it's just better that I am booked off because the three hours that I usually do at Levisa are really not worth it. So yeah, I am now just chilling at home, <sighs> trying to do as little as possible but it's so hard because I've still got so much to do. I still have to pack my hospital bag I still have to pack a bag for my husband and obviously baby's bag so that's what I've been doing very slowly I have washed all baby's clothes or well, I'm in the process of washing all baby's clothes I'm just waiting on one more load and I'm gonna start folding that and putting that away I've started to prep my bag there are a few things that I still don't have that I need to get and my husband's easy so he'll be lost so yeah that that week was pretty intense very sick very sore I was not very happy that week on the bright side I never had any pelvic pain which was great so if I don't have pelvic pain I obviously have now something else so moving on to my 32 weeks pregnancy update this week has obviously been a lot better my antibiotic obviously kicked in and started to work I haven't had any of those contractions, those Braxton Hicks. I unfortunately have really bad pelvic pain. I'm struggling to walk. It's actually really, really sore and I've been trying to do some exercises. I did some stretches on Monday and I was pretty good yesterday. Then we went and did some laps in the pool. I just basically walked in the water and I'm feeling a little bit better today, but I noticed that when I do sit for long periods of time, it does hurt a lot more. So yeah, just doing a bit of a walk around and you know, folding clothes and putting them away. I was even able to sort out my drawers, which have been driving me insane for quite a while. I had bought a couple of clothes and I've just been shoving them in one drawer because the drawer has just been a mess. So I've sorted out all my clothes. I was a bit sad having tried on some of my old summer clothes. With summer coming, I thought, oh, let me see if anything fits and nothing fits, which was a bit sad because it means now that this summer I won't be able to wear any of them. So my drawer of clothes is very sad. I don't have much to wear, but I have this lovely dress. So it's one of the new things that I bought. This was from Sheen. It's got like this little slit open here. And I got a really big size. I think this is an extra large because I just wanted to not feel tight. I think it's, it might be a large. 
So it's a large and I wanted it to be quite loose so that I didn't feel too tight. And yeah, it's quite comfy and very summery. So really love this dress. So rest of my 32 weeks have been good so far. I have been getting up to go to the toilet at least once during the night and it's usually at about half past three. So that's not been fun. And definitely trying to roll over onto either side is really sore. My pelvic pain seems to be the worst trying to roll over. I have been very thirsty. I definitely am getting so much water in because I just feel like once I've had a glass of water, I need to have another one. I just feel so thirsty. I am retaining water as well. My fingers are so swollen and my feet not so much, but I feel like my fingers are very swollen. So I generally have sweaty hands, so they're a lot, they're very clammy most of the time, but they're so much more now and very swollen. My wedding ring is, well today is pretty good, but I've been struggling to put that on. <laughs> So, what else? Haven't been as tired as what I was when I was doing my clinical placement. I think because I'm sleeping in a bit more and just relaxing a bit more. So, feeling pretty good in terms of energy. Haven't been as hungry. So, I'm having to remind myself to eat, especially if I'm busy, say, folding clothes, or like this morning I was busy doing some budgets. I am reminding myself to, you need to go have a snack now. I don't want to eat too many big things at once because I constantly feel full. And that's probably because baby is still sitting really high. One really exciting thing from my 32 weeks was the start of my 32 weeks I had my baby shower and it was so special so our theme was sunflowers and baby elephants and I had a whole bunch of stuff printed out I had a welcome to my baby shower and it was this little cute elephant and sunflowers and our games were that theme and it was just really lovely so I invited some of the girls from the visa and I was just so happy that they came because I don't have so many friends or any friends at all. It was nice that they made the effort to come to my baby shower. Baby and I got really spoiled. We got a lot of clothes and my mom bought me the most special gift ever. Usually when you have baby showers, it's really just all about the baby. But my mom, she bought me this Pandora bracelet and I thought it was very special because I'd been wanting one secretly, but you know, never said anything. Somehow she just read my mind. And because baby's theme is elephants, she got me this Pandora bracelet with little baby Dumbo. And I thought that was very sweet. So that was lovely. And I had a balloon thing done and I, we sat and we made these sunflowers. So, oh. I actually need to reuse them somehow because I spend so much time and effort and money on making these things. I need to make it more use for them. So I made these like sunflowers that I stuck up on the wall of the where the eats and stuff were. So they were fun to make, just a lot of work cutting out and sticking. So Really enjoyed it. My husband was there as well at the baby shower. He had a couple of friends over from his work and it was just a really special day. And I really do feel like baby and I were really loved with all the gifts and just made to feel really special. So I can't believe that that day has come and gone already. You, you plan these days for so long so much prepping and planning and it's over in the blink of an eye and I know that's exactly how it's gonna be when baby comes but yes so that's just all about me <laughs> but the most important part is baby so 
even throughout my whole painful experience, those contractions and just feeling so sick, baby was still doing really, really well. So baby was moving, but definitely not as much as when I wasn't feeling so sore and sick. It was almost like baby knew that something was going on. So baby was quite quiet, which wasn't helpful because it just made me stress so much more thinking something was wrong with baby but baby was perfect and this week baby has been kicking up a storm it's not so much kicks anymore it's almost like these big flowy movement kind of things where baby is spreading out or stretching they don't feel like these sudden jolts so baby is moving lots currently <laughs> giving me little kicks baby is still lying on my right side so we'll feel them at night if i'm lying down especially here baby will give me little kicks and i can feel his little feet or hands or knees which is great so baby is just doing so well i'm still currently measuring perfectly my tummy is 32 weeks and still not sure how heavy baby is or how big baby is my midwife did say that it really is going to be a big surprise of what baby will be my app this week said that baby was 1.9 kilos and about 42 centimeters so definitely putting on some weight i didn't pick up so much last week i think i picked up what baby picked up about 200 300 grams which is good <laughs> definitely one pregnancy symptom or one pregnancy thing that we get is that extra weight I've definitely noticed my legs have gotten really big and I have a lot more cellulite so that's been a bit discouraging or my self-confidence in that regard has dropped because of those new developments in my body I also obviously feel really heavy but I know that I'm growing a human and that a lot goes on to getting this baby big and healthy so I'm not too worried about that baby is about the size of a honeydew melon which is just one fruit off from the big watermelon that they say we get to when we're about 40 weeks Okay, so in terms of baby's development, not much is happening, especially not so much as it did in the beginning, but baby's bones have hardened or are continuing to harden, but the skull won't so that when baby is birthed, those sutures can cross over each other. It says that baby's brain is functioning so much more now by controlling temperature it's controlling digestive functions and the lungs are almost ready so babies that are born now will definitely need support but only very little medical support which is definitely reassuring and that if god forbid something had to happen baby would be okay and that is pretty much baby's growth oh i just love seeing baby's development on the app so i know that that's not exactly what baby looks like but it's such a nice idea how much more baby is filling my phone now and it just shows you that baby is a real baby now and just really can't wait to meet him or her <sighs> and what are the exciting stuff that we have left so basically it's just about prepping getting ready bags baby's bags my husband's bag getting the car seat in towards the end i hopefully only have two more midwifery appointments my next one is my 33 weeks and then 37 weeks and hopefully baby will be coming out pretty soon after that I am hoping for a 2021 baby just so that it gives us that you know time to prepare 
that we've got rid of this year and can just have a new year with a new baby and just a fresh start and yes I think that's pretty pretty much it for this week it's probably gonna be a bit of a lengthy video especially because some interesting stuff have happened my husband and I also have some really exciting news we have bought our first car my husband and I are picking it up today which is just such an amazing achievement he has worked so hard and in South Africa we would never have been able to do something like this so soon so the fact that we've been here for a year and a bit and he is buying his first brand new out of the box car it's a Kia Cerato sedan 2020 I'm just so proud of him and we're just so excited to have this this new car I'll probably be driving the new car with baby but yeah we have two cars now which is just such a an amazing achievement and we're just so thankful and grateful for God always being so good to us and yeah I hope to have many safe miles in the car so yeah today very exciting can't wait so next time we chat I will be 33 weeks pregnant that means seven more weeks until baby's due date so very excited I can't wait to be a mommy I can't wait to hold baby always makes me so emotional thinking about how soon it, it actually is till we get to hold and kiss him or her's little face and just have them physically here so that will definitely be it for this week's video i'm glad that i can now finally sit down every week and just make these and just keep you guys updated for those of you who have been watching or who are new i really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos i hope that you have been enjoying them as much as i have enjoyed making them and yeah please stick around for the journey and join me as we wait patiently for baby so yeah thank you bye